Amazon is not just for buying products. As a matter of fact, thousands of dropshippers are making substantial amounts of profit dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how that is done and how you can profit so well from dropshipping from Amazon to eBay, along with all of the challenges that it can come with and how to overcome them. So if you want to succeed with Amazon to eBay dropshipping, watch this quick intro and let's go. What's up everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, you're going to learn all about Amazon to eBay dropshipping how you can utilize the supplier, one of the biggest and best suppliers that we can use today on our dropshipping businesses. And you're going to learn anything and everything there is about this supplier and how to really profit well from him. We're going to cover all of the important topics like the legal issues. Is it really legal to dropship from Amazon to any selling channel? How to set eBay policies for Amazon, return policies and shipping policies, how to conduct product research and find the best and most trending items from Amazon to sell on our marketplace to sell on eBay, how to fulfill our orders and process our returns without the risk of getting our accounts locked, how to reach Amazon's customer support and how to overcome all kinds of challenges that we may get along the way. All of the info is in the blog, which I'll leave a link to right below this video, but I will offer much more value in this video. So do stay tuned and let's get on with the show. Let's take it from the top. What is Amazon? Amazon was created by Jeff Bezos in 1995. Check out this old photo over here, which shows Jeff Bezos sitting down down in front of his computer and this is him creating Amazon. This is Amazon's first year of going live and he actually had to get investors to help him invest $1 million. He got it from, if I'm not mistaken, from 30 different investors to help him invest in this company so that he can actually get it up and running. And it only started as a book selling company. So this company only sold books online and that is how it begun. So you can see this old photo of how everything got started and you can imagine what Amazon is today. It is simply a big powerhouse with fulfillment centers all around the world, fast shipping times, and there is a reason why it's the best, the number one e-commerce platform in the world to buy products from, and soon you'll see why it's also the best platform to drop ship from. So let's go on. That is how everything started, and usually good things start from photos like these. Okay, so where are Amazon's warehouses located? Well, they have over 100 fulfillment centers all across the US. This is how Amazon is able to give free, fast, two and even one day shipping to any country in the United States with the right strategy and the right locations for the warehouses and have warehouses in over 100 different places across the US with third party sellers selling in each and every one of those warehouses. So Amazon is not the seller here. Amazon is simply holding warehouses. Well, today they are manufacturing items. See, what they do is they see the best selling items and then they sell them under the Amazon Basics account. You will notice it when you're drop shipping from Amazon. So as you can see, they are expanding and there's a good reason for that. Amazon is making a lot of money from their warehouses, from third party sellers who are storing products in Amazon's warehouses and paying them fees. And by also using the Fulfilled by Amazon service. So the third party sellers can use Amazon to fulfill their orders and ship it to the end customer instead of the third party sellers have to, having to do it themselves. So that is a choice for them. And that's another way for Amazon to make so much money. So that's a little bit about Amazon's warehouses. They have them all over the US and that helps us ship our products really quickly to our domestic US audience. Now let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons from drop shipping from Amazon to eBay. We talked about the fact that Amazon has fast one to two day shipping on millions of products, pretty much almost all of the products that they have on Amazon is eligible for fast and free shipping, which will arrive in one to two day for the US audience. That is right for anyone who has an Amazon Prime membership. And we're going to talk about that in just a little while when we get to order fulfillment. So fast one to two day shipping, over 12 million products in total. So you got an endless amount of categories and an endless amount of items that you can resell and there's always new items that are always coming out. So there is no such thing as something being too saturated, especially on a huge marketplace like this one. Free 30 day returns on prime products. So it doesn't matter what the reason is. And even if the buyer opened the package and used it a little bit, they can still return it. No questions asked for the first 30 days. And that is also what we will be putting on our eBay policies, which we will get to soon. Extended holiday returns. So if the product was purchased during a holiday, 
you will have an extended return. It can be 40, 50, and sometimes even 60 days. Fast customer support by phone or by chat 24 seven. We're going to touch that a little bit later. Multiple marketplaces available. So you can sell on Amazon US, Amazon UK, Amazon DE, FR, IT, France, Italy, and more. Now let's talk about some of the cons and the solutions that we have for them. So one of the cons, one of the disadvantages of dropshipping from Amazon, and this is for the inexperienced dropshippers, is that Amazon locks accounts with large number of purchases. Now there's a solution for that. Don't use discounted gift cards. You can either use a credit card after passing a short verification process with Amazon or opt into the fulfilled by AutoDS service. And then you don't need to have any Amazon accounts. AutoDS will simply process all of the orders for you automatically and also update tracking. Another disadvantage is that sometimes Amazon provides TBA tracking numbers. So that is a tracking number, an internal tracking number from Amazon from their own fulfillment service. And this tracking number is not scannable. It's not trackable by eBay. So. If the buyer opens a case, the item was not received, and you have a TBA tracking number over there, you're going to have a hard time winning that case and proving to the buyer that they did receive the item. On the other hand, if you did use a trackable tracking number, something that's supported by eBay like UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL, or even Blue Care Express, which is the answer to the problem right here, then it will be traceable by eBay and you will win those cases and customers won't be able to win cases that the item was not received, even with TBA tracking numbers. So we're going to touch that soon too, but if you are using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, it comes with the Blue Care Express package inside when it automatically updates your tracking numbers. So you don't really need to worry about that if you're opted into that service. Another con, another disadvantage to Amazon is that the Prime membership costs $119 annually if you are purchasing the products yourself or $12.99 per month. The solution here on the one hand, if you're dropshipping, you're profiting, $13 a month is no problem whatsoever. On the other hand, you can use once again the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. So if you use that service, then like I mentioned, AutoDS uses their own buyer accounts that have the Prime membership on them. So you don't need to worry about that expense. So there are two ways to fulfill orders. One is to do it manually and the other is to join the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. We're going to touch that soon, but as you can see, to every problem, we have a solution, whether the manual way or the automatic way. Now let's talk about the legal issues because this is something that lots of people are asking, especially dropshippers in the beginning of their journey. Is Amazon to eBay dropshipping legal? Now, according to Amazon and eBay's policies, they both support dropshipping, but not from one marketplace or retailer to another. If you have a private contract with your dropshipping supplier, then great. If you're dropshipping from a wholesale supplier, then also great. How are we actually seeing a different picture in reality? If eBay and Amazon don't support dropshipping from one one place to the other. How is it still happening? How is it still going around? And how are thousands of dropshippers still profiting from this business model? The answer to that is money. And that is what makes the world go round. Amazon and eBay are not going to stop dropshippers from dropshipping. They are going to limit new dropshippers and make their lives a little bit harder. But experienced dropshippers, even those who haven't even began yet, but those who did acquire the right amount of knowledge, like you watching this video and reading these blogs, you will make it in this scene. You will make it in this industry as long as you take it slowly and carefully. As long as you're providing excellent customer support to your buyers, then you won't have to anything to worry about and you will be here for the long run. Take a look at this graph that shows you how much dropshipping is rising from year to year. So today we're at 2021. Here is all of the previous years. And as you can see, the forecast for the next coming years shows that dropshipping, the dropshipping market value is going to multiply itself. So you really want a piece of this cake. eBay is making a lot of money from dropshipping. Amazon is making a lot of money from dropshippers. And if you are not a dropshipper yourself, then you are not one of the ones who are taking in these profits. So I hope that this video is going to help you guys understand that you can do it. And let me continue showing you how. Let's move on to how to begin Amazon to eBay dropshipping. The first thing that you're going to want to do is register a new account on Amazon. And this is only relevant for anyone who wants to manually process their orders by themselves without using the Fulfilled by AutoDS automated service. So if you don't want the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, create your free Amazon account. It's very self-explanatory and there is an explanation in the blog here below as you can see here in front of me. So simply go to Amazon, click on register now, new customer, start here and create your account. Fill in the information, your email address, password and your name 
and your Amazon account will be ready. Once your account is ready, you'll have an option to try Prime for free. You'll have a one week free trial to join Amazon Prime. So go ahead and join the Prime service. Once again, I remind you guys, this is for anyone who does not want to fulfill by AutoDS service. All right, so whether you joined Amazon by yourself or you opted into the fulfill by AutoDS service, let's continue for now. What is Amazon's shipping policy? So we know that the Prime service is going to offer one to two day shipping to our buyers. So what does that mean in terms of eBay's business policies and how can we set it the right way? First, we know that Amazon has their free one to two day shipping policy. They also have free standard shipping, which is on products over $25 if you do not have the Prime membership. And you also have items that are not eligible for fast shipping, but that is not relevant because we are going to focus on Amazon Prime products. Now, what is Amazon's return policies? We're going to get to the business policy soon on eBay. Amazon's return policies simply states, as mentioned before, that you can return any product that you purchased for 30 days, no questions asked. All you have to do is go to Amazon, go to your order details, and then you'll have an option to return the item. If you're using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, simply go to the order status and change it from delivered or from shipped to request a return. Then the Fulfilled by AutoDS service will simply provide a return label. I will show you everything soon. So you don't need to worry about the return policies. Amazon has a 30 day return policy on some categories, even 90 days for some baby products. So once again, no need to worry. And I'll show you how to create the policies soon. And by soon, I mean now. So eBay business policies for Amazon dropshipping. First thing what you wanna do is create your eBay business policies. Once again, link in the blog right below this video. And these policies will simply let the buyers know when they can expect their packages and how how long of a return window they have if they wish to return their package. So first things first, go to eBay Seller Hub, click on Business Policies, then click on Create Policy and Shipping. Then you'll get to this screen as you see here. Let me show it to you guys on my eBay account. Here's my eBay Seller account. I simply went to the Seller Hub, I clicked on Listings, and here on the left side, you see that we have Business Policies. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I'm going to click on Create Policy and Shipping. So I'm creating a new shipping policy. This is going to be for all of the products that I import from Amazon. Policy's name, I can call it Amazon Shipping Policy. This is internal, it's just for us, so we'll know what policies we're looking at. Then in the domestic shipping, we're going to keep it on flat, same cost to all buyers. The service that we're going to offer here is expedited services, expedited shipping, one to three business days. And this is how long it takes the product to reach the customer once they sent us their order. Then you have handling time. So handling time is how long it takes you to provide a tracking number, or in other words, how long it takes Amazon to provide a tracking number. So the handling time is how long it took us to actually ship out the order. Here, we're going to keep it on two or even three business days. So if you're issuing out your orders right away, you can keep it on two business days. But if you're doing it manually and you're only doing it at a certain time in a day, then keep it on three business days just in case. Because if you miss this, then eBay is going to see it as a late shipment. And we don't want that. We don't want too many late shipments on our seller accounts. It will decrease the overall seller performance. So two to three business days depends on how fast you can provide tracking numbers. If you have no idea, start with three. And if you see that you're providing tracking numbers within one or two days, then update it to two business days as long as you don't have it on four or up because this way ebay is going to give you fewer visibility for your listings and that is not something that we are looking for then as i mentioned you have your services how long it takes the package to reach the customer once the order was sent out we're also looking at the handling time so two business days plus three business days means that we have a total of five business days from the moment that we got the order to the moment that it needs to be delivered to our buyer's address. Now, you can use something not as good as expedited one to two, three day shipping. You can have one to five business days. Let me just find it really quick. Here, standard shipping, one to five business days. This is if you're not so sure if the product is going to arrive on time. But when you're using automated fulfillment services to fulfill your orders, then as soon as the order comes in, it's going to be processed automatically by the system. In this case, you really have no problem with one to three business days here on expedited shipping, and that is going to give you much better visibility for your listing. So expedited shipping and two business days is really going to help you out a lot. More people are going to see your listing and more people are going to buy from you. Then you have the shipping cost. So we're going to fill in free shipping because we are not paying Amazon for shipping and we are not going to charge our customers for shipping either. This way, once again, our listings will be more visible than sellers who are charging for shipping. And even if you do have a shipping price on Amazon, even though it's not likely on Prime products, AutoDS also knows how to take the product price and the shipping price 
price, put them together as a product price, and then you can still provide free shipping to your buyers and keep the same profit margin that you have set. Okay, next, what you want to do is scroll down international shipping. You do not need to enable it. Then you have the exclude shipping locations. So here you want to exclude every shipping location that is not in the United States, which is pretty much everything that you see here. So make sure that everything is excluded and then save your shipping policy. So that is it for the shipping policy. Now let's talk about the return policies for Amazon. So we know that we have 30 day returns. Let's go back to the business policies, click on create policy and this time return. So now we're creating a return policy. Give it a name, Amazon return policy okay so domestic returns accepted yes we accept domestic returns after receiving the item your buyer should contact you within 30 days so i'm giving the buyer 30 days which is exactly what amazon is giving me so it matches return shipping will be paid by the buyer no no it will be paid by you by the seller because you do not need to pay anything you have free returns by amazon prime and we're going to give a replacement or exchange if they want no problem if the customer tells you hey okay when the product returns i want you to send me a replacement instead of a refund so sure no problem wait for the item to return and process the new order for him international returns accepted we don't need it because we're not offering international shipping but if you do if you're using the ebay gsp program or hip shipper or anything else then definitely give them international returns according to what you can actually give okay so save that and that is your return policy so we covered amazon shipping policies and we covered amazon return policies for ebay now let's talk about one of the more interesting topics in this video how do we find the best and most trending products from amazon to sell on ebay and we're not just talking about any random products to try and test we're talking about the products that really have the highest chances of selling and this way we will get those sales rolling we will start profiting and we'll learn how to multiply our success and continue selling from there product research is one of the most important parts of our dropshipping business so this is how we can really find the best product from amazon and sell them on our ebay stores we are all here to make a profit and the way to do it is with the right product research techniques and strategies so let's begin how do we find the best selling and most trending items on amazon one of the biggest marketplaces that we have available today first we want to start off by familiarizing ourselves with the right dropshipping categories some categories on amazon are not fit for the dropshipping business model while others are so these are the relevant categories arts crafts and sewing clothing shoes jewelry and watches home garden and tools industrial and scientific pet supplies beauty and health kitchen and dining toys kids and baby musical instruments office products patio lawn and garden tools and home improvement toys and games sports outdoors automotive and industrial don't sell cars but do sell the car accessories and accessories for cell phones and accessories for computers as you see cell phones and computers was striked out because we don't want you guys to sell cell phones and we don't want you guys to sell computers those products are problematic for drop shipping then you want to avoid adding products from the following categories so echo and alexa fire tablets fire tv books audiobooks amazon fresh food groceries movies music games magazine subscriptions digital music and digital educational resources don't sell those products you'll quickly find your ebay account no longer active and that is not something that any one of us wants which drop shipping products are not allowed on ebay so we talked about categories that we cannot drop ship from but there's another topic that we need to learn because even in the categories that we can drop ship from there are products inside those categories which we are not allowed to resell as an inexperienced drop shipper you may not know about this and then you try to sell those items and then you'll find yourself suspended from your ebay account so let's avoid that from happening ebay has a vero program this is a verification rights owners program so anyone who has a patented product copyrighted trademark they go to ebay and they tell them hey i don't want anyone reselling my product so this is my product and then ebay would add it to the vero list which we have right here and this has the list of all of the people that don't want their products to be resold so as you see here we have all of these companies and it's usually big companies that you may have heard of before and a lot of medium to small companies which you may not have heard of so first of all use your logic in your brain don't try to sell all kinds of big trademarks any product that comes from a big company which you may have heard of before like uh, iphone samsung and so forth but what about the rest of the list as you see here how can you keep and stay up to date on all of the manufacturers or all of the resellers that don't want their products to be resold by you and this list is always getting bigger and bigger so how can you always stay updated well the best way to do it first of all have this place have this link bookmarked in your browser 
But on top of that, if you're using the AutoDS system, every time you import a product which you are not allowed to import, then AutoDS will stop you and tell you, hey, this product has a Vero violation because the manufacturer is this. So proceed at your own risk. And then you can choose if you want to continue importing this product or if you would like to cancel the import process. So that is another layer of protection for you. But once again, use your own logic, use your mind also. That is the most powerful technique that you can have. What I mean by that is if you're trying to add, for example, a case for an iPhone product and you try to import it to AutoDS, then AutoDS will tell you, hey, you cannot resell products that are iPhones. But you know that this product is not created by Apple. Apple is not the manufacturer and you're not selling an iPhone. You're selling a case for an iPhone. So make sure that the product's title is case for iPhone and not iPhone case because then people will think that iPhone or Apple is the creator here. And then you can simply still import that product. So when you get a Vero violation error, make sure that you know what product it is that you're trying to resell. Then you'll see that you can resell it or maybe you can't. It really depends on who the manufacturer is there. But that is another layer of protection which you have to have when you're drop shipping from Amazon to eBay or from any supplier to any marketplace. Now let's talk about Amazon to eBay product research methods. So this is what we're actually here to talk about. How can we find the best products to sell? So we talked about categories that we want to avoid before we start looking for products to sell. And we talked about what products are not allowed to be resold on eBay. Now that we have that information, we can actually go and find the right products to sell on our store. So the first method is using Amazon's bestsellers. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click on the link right here in the blog below and it'll take me to Amazon's bestsellers page. Now, this is a great page to get familiar with what products are selling really well, really hot right now. Now here, for example, this is the baby category. So this is Amazon's bestsellers. They're showing it to you by categories. And first in the baby category, I know that I'm not going to resell Pampers and Huggies. So you're not always going to sell the first products that are bestsellers. Those are usually trademark products. And it's a company that you've heard of before. So as I mentioned a minute ago, you don't want to mess with those types of items. But what you do want to do here is simply go on to the next pages and see what other products are bestsellers until you start getting to the drop shipping items. Let me show you what I mean. So here you have bestsellers in clothing, shoes and jewelry, bestsellers in health and household, cameras and photo products, software, video games. Those are not fit for the dropshipping business model. So let's just go with health and household. I'm going to click on see more. Now, what you want to do is usually avoid the first page because it's filled with trademark products, the ones that are selling the most with hundreds of thousands of reviews. And we have more than enough millions of products that we can resell. So we really do not need to focus on products that we cannot sell. Okay, so as you see here, face mask lanyards. I like this product. It is a nice product that we can drop ship. Let's continue looking here for more bestsellers in this category okay so that looks like the end for this one so let's go with this product that we just saw now as you see there's so many variations here so one of the best ideas is to import each product as its own standalone listing because usually when sellers are adding products like these what they are doing is they're adding all of the variants inside one product variation. And so the buyer is only going to see this image on the outside. But if you're going to have this as the main image and this is the main image and this thumbnail is the main image, then you will be different from your competition. You will stand out more. You will be one of the only ones that's selling this product. And that is how you're going to get those sales. Now, notice that this item usually ships within two to three days. Amazon Prime products usually ship within one day. So when you have this message, make sure that you are using a policy, a business policy, which we talked about earlier, that has up to a three day handling time. So make sure to create all kinds of policies, two day handling time, three day handling time. And when you import products, make sure to assign the right policy to the right product. So that's just one really quick example from the best sellers. What you want to do here at the end of the day in best sellers is to go to the right categories. You can choose any category here on the left side. So I talked about which categories are re relevant for drop shipping. Let's go into one of those categories, arts, crafts, and sewing. I remember talking about that one. So now it's showing me all of the best sellers inside arts, crafts, and sewing, and you can continue breaking down the categories here and really nail down whatever niche you are looking for. So let's go for craft supplies and scroll down a little bit. Get away from the known products, get away from the known companies, the known manufacturers. And here are products that you can actually start drop shipping, starting at just three dollars and four cents with free shipping. So this is a construction paper. It comes with 10 papers. If you ask me a great product to drop ship, you can sell it really, really cheap. You can add each variation here as its own listing or this one listing with all of the variations inside. 
test it out and see what works for you. So the best sellers is a really good place to find trending products that are selling really, really well on Amazon and you can sell them on your eBay store. Remember, no such thing as saturation, especially when you have variations and you're importing each product as a standalone product. Amazon bestsellers is one of the best ways to find products and here you have more examples in the blog below. Amazon hot new releases is the second place where you can find great products from Amazon and sell them on eBay. So we talked about best sellers. And if we go back to Amazon, again, you can use the link right here to get to the new releases, but let me show you where it is on Amazon. Right here on the top on the front page, you got new releases. Now in new releases, you'll see products that have feedback and you'll also see products, new products that don't have feedback. So how does a new product have 4,179 feedback like the one that we're seeing here? That's simply because it has variations inside. So it may have some old variations and then the seller added a new variation. And because of that new variation, this product came to be in the new releases. So let's take a look at that example that I just talked about. As you see, we have variations here. So that is why we have 4,179 ratings and the product is still in new releases because of a new variation. Let's continue. So here you have the new releases in all of these categories that Amazon shows you here. And if we look on the left side, we can click on any other category where Amazon supports new releases. So let's click on kitchen and dining in this example. Great dropshipping category. And here's all the new releases in kitchen and dining. So what you wanna do here, how do you utilize and really take advantage of Amazon's new releases. If you have a product that's already selling for you and you know that this product is selling well, then you may look for it in new releases because when you find new releases to products that are already selling for you, then you will start a new selling trend and other dropshippers will be copying from you instead of you having to copy techniques from other dropshippers. Okay, so I would definitely add this ice cream scoop to my store, this compartment lunchbox over here. So it's really easy to find dropshippable products here, this food storage item, this ice tray, this bag over here. All of these products are very fit for the dropshipping business model and they're new. So not a lot of people are dropshipping them. And even if you will dropship them and there are other dropshippers who are doing it on eBay, it's all about the product title. So optimize the product title, optimize the product page a little bit, make yourself stand out from the competition and you will be the one selling it. Amazon hot new releases, the second place I recommend getting hot selling products. The third method, it is not shown in the blog below. That is why I told you guys that in this video, you will get more value. The third method is using Amazon movers and shakers so let me go back let me click on best sellers and inside the best sellers you'll have another category called movers and shakers movers and shakers as you see right here in this column i'm going to click on that this will show you the top trending items the best sellers the top ranked items over the last 24 hours updated on the hour if you want to talk about trending hot right now this is where it's at this is where you can learn about all of those items as you see here, once again, you have all of the categories and you can even click on the left side to get into another movers and shakers category. So let's take another example this time. Let's go to pet supplies. Now here's all of the pet products that are, have sold really well over the last 24 hours. So you want something that's trending, you want something that's hot, grab these items and add them to your store. That is the third method of finding hot selling items from Amazon, which not a lot of dropshippers know about. The fourth method to find the best selling and most trending products from Amazon is to see what other successful dropshippers are doing. Now, in order to do that, I want you guys to read the blog below where you have the multiply profits from a successful seller. There we have a full explanation on how to do this. But in general, you do not want to copy sellers one by one. You wanna see what sellers are selling on eBay so you can take a product from Amazon, search for it on eBay, then see what sellers are selling that product for what price. And on the left side on eBay, you have a filter to see only the sold items. So eBay will only show you items that have sold for other dropshippers. And then you can see what they are selling and search for products that are similar to that one on Amazon. You do not want to copy the same exact product and you definitely do not want to copy the same exact title that will not give you the edge over the competition and you won't get those sales but learning from what other dropshippers are selling is going to give you a wonderful indication of what you can sell to the fifth method for finding and selling the most trending products from amazon to ebay is letting auto ds letting our system do all of the hard work for you AutoDS has a feature called the AutoDS Finder. This feature scans thousands of dropshippers every day and sees what the best selling items are. Then the AutoDS system will grab those products and they will add it automatically to your store. So the system does everything automatically. Let me show you how that's done really quick. Head over to the AutoDS platform and on the left side, click on add products. Then click on the AutoDS Finder column. Make sure that you have finder credits. If you don't have them, you can click here to buy more. Then what you see here is the product categories, not category as a niche, but 
the product's selling history. What type of product you want to add to your store? For example, do you want to add a product that sold three times in the last month, five times in the last month, or eight times in the last month? Each one has a different credit cost. So here you can select the amount. For example, I want to add five products that sold eight times in the last month, and I want to add five more products that have a high chance for a coupon, which means I will have an extra discount and I will profit more from selling that specific item. The supplier source that I want to grab these items from in this case is Amazon. The region is the United States. Then I will add it as a draft. My total cost here is 45 credits. I will add it as a draft. Item is being added to drafts. And now I can just sit back, relax, and allow AutoDS to do all of the hard work on product research for me. This is recommended for people who do not have time to conduct product research or if you want to mix and match, finding your own products and also letting AutoDS find products for you, testing out the market and seeing what works. The sixth product research method of getting the best selling items from Amazon to eBay is simply by seeing what's selling on your store and going to that seller and getting more products from a seller that has been proven to work well for you. So for example, let's say this dog retractable leash right here sold for me even at least one time. What I'm going to do next is open up that product listing. So here is a winning product that already sold in my store, even if it only sold once. What I'm going to do next is first of all, import each and every one of the variations. So make sure that I have everything and not just this one listing for this blue color. So make sure to also have the different sizes and the different colors. But that is not all. What you want to do next is see who the seller is on Amazon. So here on the right side, you see that it ships from Amazon, but it's sold by Peanut Pet Supply Store. So what I'm going to do now is open this link in a new tab and see what other products this seller has to offer. So here's the seller's page. Peanut Pet Supplies Storefront. 100% positive feedback in the last 12 months. So that is something that you also want to make sure that your seller has a good feedback rating. If it's 93% or 94% and below, I would probably move to a different seller. Even if it's fulfilled by Amazon, you still want to use a seller that really has high quality products that people usually give a nice rating on. Okay, so here is the storefront. What you want to do is click on the storefront link. Even if you see here in the detailed seller information, you see that it is a Chinese seller. So what this comes to show you is that many products that are being sold on Amazon are Chinese products. They're coming from AliExpress and Alibaba. What the sellers simply do is they ship the products from AliExpress to Amazon's warehouses. They pay the warehousing fees, but now they can ship their products from the US to the US with faster shipping times. So you'll notice that the American audience, they won't mind paying more for a product coming from the US and get it within one or two days rather than pay a cheaper price on AliExpress, but get the product within two to three to four weeks and sometimes even more. Okay, so we don't mind that the product is a Chinese product. That's what's happening all around the world. What we want to do here is click on the storefront. Now what I'm going to see is all of the products that is being sold by this seller. So here you can see Pina, 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 Pina in the beginning of the title. So you know that this is all of that seller's products. And as you see here, the seller knows what he's selling. He has good feedback and people are buying his products. So what you're going to do next is add all of these products to your store and you can do it really easily using the AutoDS helper extension. So I'm just going to extract these products, all 23 of these products, export it as a CSV, and then import that CSV to my store. That's how easy it is to add best-selling products. And that is how you're going to multiply your success and find even better product ideas and more product ideas than what you originally had from a seller that has been proven to work for you. That sums up the best product research methods to find the best and most trending products from Amazon and sell them on eBay. So implement those methods and watch your sales start and continue to grow. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet or you haven't liked this video, do so now because this is the type of content that we always deliver with as much value as possible to help you guys succeed on your dropshipping journey. Now let's talk about how to reach Amazon's customer support. If you have any problems with your orders, if you need to reach out to them and try to get help, then it's going to be very easy on Amazon's platform. And this is one of the greatest advantages here. So there's a few methods of how to get in contact with Amazon. One is to simply call their support line. This is the number right here and simply use that, call them, let them know what's up and what problem you're having. The second method is to use Amazon's live chat. We have a direct link to their chat in the blog, which I left a link to below this video as mentioned a few times. So use the live chat. Sometimes during peak hours, it could take a while or they could close the chat, but use the link, 
get them on the chat. That's one of the ways to get them on customer service. The third method is to have Amazon call you. So here's the link to the contact us page where you can fill in your details and then they will simply call you back when a representative is free. And once again, this is a great option if you don't have the time to sit around and wait for them to answer. The fourth method is to simply email Amazon. So I have a few emails that I added to the blog below. The first is cis at amazon.com. This is for account or billing issues. The second is primary at amazon.com and this is for general issues. So you can simply send them an email. If it's nothing that really needs to be taken care of right now, just send them a mail and let them get back to you. So those are the four ways to contact Amazon for any problem that you may be having. Now let's talk really quickly about payment methods, but you can see all of that inside Amazon. So one, you can pay them by using a credit card. And by the way, this is only relevant for people who are not using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service and you are fulfilling your orders manually by yourself. Not recommended once you have five orders per day and definitely not for those who have 10, 15, 20, 50 plus orders per day. You definitely need an automated service so that you can really scale this business and not get stuck with the same numbers every month over and over again. But if you are purchasing by yourself, then of course you can use a credit or a debit card to pay Amazon. You can also use a store card. So this is good for US citizens. Same thing for US citizens. You can use a personal checking account or you can use the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. As I mentioned, this way you don't need any accounts Amazon, you simply need to opt into the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. Make sure that you have a balance on your managed account and AutoDS will simply use that balance to fulfill your orders. And the fifth payment method to pay for your orders is using Amazon gift cards. But wait, stop right there. Do not use Amazon gift cards. It is just another method, but inexperienced dropshippers, once they start to use gift cards, and this was a big mistake that I made about two years ago, or maybe even three, high usage of Amazon gift cards is going to get your account locked, your Amazon account locked, and whatever gift card you redeemed inside that account, all the money will be gone. So don't use Amazon gift cards, whether it's discounted or not, simply stay away from this method. Go with the other methods that we, that I talked about above. And if you really want to avoid getting your account locked in any situation, just use the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. Everything will be automated. All of your tracking numbers will be automated and your returns and of course your order fulfillment. Even when you sleep, even when you, when you travel for vacation, your orders will get processed automatically as soon as they come in. And believe me, your buyers are going to be very happy to get their products, to get their shipments so fast. This is the account lock. This is what happens when you use too many gift cards. So as I mentioned, stay away from gift cards. And now you're ready to automate your dropshipping business, save the most amount of time so that you can invest that time in growing and scaling your e-commerce business. And this is the only way to do it. Otherwise, you'll be stuck doing everything manually and you will not be able to grow. So how do you save time and automate your workflow? You guessed right, AutoDS. With AutoDS, you can import your products from Amazon or from any one of our 25 plus supported suppliers. But now we're talking about Amazon. So any product that you see on Amazon, you can import it right away to your store really easily without spending time downloading the images, moving all of the products, titles and descriptions from one place to the other. Let me show you really, really quick because this video is long enough as it is how that is done. So one, you can use the one click importer. You see this icon that I have outside the products listing. This is available from the AutoDS Helper extension. Just write AutoDS Helper on Google, download and install the free extension, and then you'll be able to see this icon. I can even see it inside the product listing. So let's go inside this retractable dog leash. Wait a couple seconds and you'll see the same button above the product's title right here, and it'll say import to AutoDS. And here it is right here. So as soon as I click on this button, this product is going to go to the draft page of my AutoDS account right here to the drafts. That is all there is to it. That's all I had to do, just click on that button. The next method is to add products in bulk. So I want to add many products to my store. Let's say I found a niche that's selling really well for me, that retractable dog collar. So let's write retractable dog collar. And now I want to add all of them to my store. So let's say this niche is going really, really well for me. I found the winning category. What I'm going to do is click on the extension here on the bottom right, this extension, this AutoDS circle, once again available through the AutoDS helper extension. So I'm going to click on it, then I'll click on extract and all of the 30 products that I have on this page just got extracted into this little extension. Then I'll click on export as CSV and you see a CSV file was downloaded onto my computer. I'll head back to AutoDS, I'll click on add products, upload CSV and here I will drag and drop or click on it to open my file browser window navigate to that CSV file, double click on it. And as you see, it says file is uploaded. That's how easy it is. Add it as a draft and that's it. All of those 30 products will get to my drafts page in just a minute. And that's all I had to do. The next method is to use the buy URL or ID right here. 
So this is the same as using the one-click importer. It's simply going to bring the products to my drafts page. Only here I can open, let's say, these three products. Let's open them in new tabs. So I'm just going to copy the whole URL or just the product ID, which is the ASIN right here, whatever is easy for you. So I'm going to copy the URL, head back to AutoDS, add this as the first line, make a line break, go to the second item, copy the URL, back to AutoDS, paste it here. Third item, copy the URL, back to AutoDS right here. So here you can add also as many products as you wish, add them as a draft, and that is how easy it is to import products really quickly from Amazon to AutoDS. Once it's on AutoDS in the draft section, you will optimize your product, and once it's ready, you will import it to your store, then it'll go to the product section. Once it's there, it's live on your store, and anyone can go in and buy it. So it only takes one minute or even less to import tens to hundreds to even thousands of listings at once to your dropshipping stores using business automation. Now, now, this is not even mentioning price monitoring, stock monitoring, automatic orders, customer service, automatic messages to buyers, and so many more advantages that you will have once you add business automation. So if you really want to make it to the big numbers, you really want to scale and optimize your business, business automation is the way to do it. That wraps up this video for how to dropship from Amazon to eBay, the full guide, no holds barred. Everything that I know was thrown into this video. If you guys appreciate the value that we're passing on to you guys, if you guys like like this video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet, and share this video so that your friends and family will also have the amazing opportunity to learn about this wonderful business model. Thank you for watching, happy dropshipping, and I'll see you in the future videos.